Hello everybody and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays RimWorld. I'm Stealing 33 and today, today we have to make a new colony because they, uh, they updated the game recently and, uh, it caused a bunch of horrible problems in our, uh, in our other game. I tried to record it earlier and it caused a bunch of crashes and stuff, so we gotta start a new colony. Uh, which sucks because actually the other colony was going pretty fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our seed. Wing 33 see what we got here uh, and we'll generate a map and we'll see what's up all right here we go um select the site at random temperate forest flatland oh well it's like over here it's god damn it I gotta remember it's not I gotta move with the arrows temperate forest flat year-round growing period slate and sandstone it's pretty hot here all the time 79 is pretty pretty brutal but it only drops to 60 Average temperature of 69.7. Aw, yeah. Let's go there. Seems fine to me. All right. And now we'll play the uh, the random generation game until we get somebody who uh, is not incapable of anything. Pretty good shooting. Psychically dull. Volatile. Not bad. We will name you Bravo 3. Uh, we got Min, the pop idol. It's incapable of tons of shit, which is not okay. Uh, good. We got the medieval lord. Don't be me, Steel Wing. 33. There we go. And last but not least, smoke leaf dependency. The fuck? Uh, are there like drugs in the game now? I didn't actually read the uh, the patch notes for the other set because I, I wasn't aware there was a patch. Um, ah, it's my brother. So actually, we'll name you. You'll be you'll be Steely Phil. And then uh, Reese the blacksmith. Your name is now Bravo Three. All right, cool. There we go. My brother and I are now. And the colonists together abrasive he's got chemical interests so he'll take drugs in the event that he needs to he's not a brawler but he can't shoot so that's fine should be good should be good uh, i'm looking forward to it this also lets me rectify a couple of errors that we made um in the last colony that i noticed while i was watching the uh the thing play back a little bit here but uh we should be fine uh, i'm looking forward to being able to play a little bit um really enjoy pausing yes i know how to pause the game thank you game um i think it got rid of most of my um most of my like stuff that i've done because all of it was on the last build of the game uh so like the game doesn't know that i know how to do all of that that's what i'm getting at all right now we need rooms right so we need well we need a place to settle uh probably not near the giant death box over here um although that's the only like real mountain coverage we have right now uh, i like to try to build near mountains because it cuts down on the amount of walls that i need to build when we inevitably inevitably move to like make a fortress so i think what we'll do is we'll actually build here um and we'll make like like if uh, i go to the planning tools here uh what we'll do is we'll make this area right here like the body of our base right um so this will be like the the actual like area that is our fortress base thing and we'll just build everything inside of here um maybe we'll expand it down to like here and up so that way we can have like a nice little growing zone uh it sucks that we won't really be able to make use of any of the fertile land that's in the area but that's I mean, it's the price you got to pay for security at some point. Um, it'll just be easier to protect ourselves if we build in this area. Um, the only thing I have, I, I can, I'm concerned with, is that. Um, so we can't build like this to like the boundary wall. The game won't let us do that. Um, so if somebody spawns in here, they'll be right on top of us immediately, uh, which we can deal with by just putting up gun turrets or something, or making like. I don't know, the actual opening for our base, like, over here or something like that. Uh, we'll figure it out. But, until then, let's get some structures going. Some walls made out of wood. And let's get nice 10 by 10 rooms here. Or 10 by 9 rooms, sorry. Well, I guess they're 11 by 9 now. Because, uh, I accidentally dragged one too many blocks. We have three colonists. So that should be fine. We're already already ignoring my plan <laughs> um yeah here you can see the building i can't build here at all um 
So I guess maybe we'll just wall off like the actual wall of the level. I don't know. We'll get to it. We'll, we'll figure it out. That's not important right now. Um, that's something that's like a macro goal that we'll get to later. Um, for now, let's just focus on getting some stuff built up here. Actually, you know what? I hate that. Cancel. Cancel all of that. Um, I just, I don't want to build out, like, in the open. Like, you know what? We'll build over here. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Bunch of 11 by 9 rooms. Easy peasy. Feeling pretty confident right now. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, RimWorld's not the most intri interesting game for, to watch, but uh, I actually am planning on using this more as, like, a vlog-type thing going on. Um, this is where a lot of, like, channel updates will happen. If I want to, like, just talk to you guys about something or other, um, this is probably where that will happen. I need everybody to be on construction duty, and everybody should be able to repair. Let's just go ahead and do manual priority. Um... Antonio's our best blacksmith, so logically I will have him smith as his priority. Uh, Steely Phil's a hunter, so I will have him hunt. Uh, that makes me the cook, because I'm the last man standing here. Um, I will have me also do growing. And uh, I won't have Steely Phil do hunting. He'll do it, He'll do it, but it's not... I don't want him to focus on it. Um, everybody should be a patient. Like, as the primary thing. Same thing with bed rest. Everybody should be able to flick. That should be fine. Uh, firefighting, also critically important. The kind of thing that we just can't ignore. Um, I want everybody to cut plants. It doesn't have to be your primary thing you're doing, but I want it to happen. And then let's get some trees cut down. Get some trees, and then we'll cut all the plants in this area as well. Um, I just want to get rid of all of it. Uh, having no plants near our base actually is very helpful due in large to the fact that it also prevents fires from creeping up on us, uh, which is good. The problem with doing this right now is that I don't think we're going to be able to finish the room in time. So actually, let's cancel all of that. Oh, I canceled the structure too. God damn it. How long is this? That's eight. That's ten. Okay. Ten. There we go. Put that back right there. As if it never happened. Alright, there we go. Turn my mouse sensitivity down a little bit so it's easier for me to hit all these points. Let's get some orders. Cut some wood. I still do want the wood to get cut. Um, just because we're going to be using tons of wood this whole time. Uh, do we have any animals? We do. We have one red fox. I'll give him obedience training. Definitely want hauling. No, don't slaughter the fox. Just obedience training. Uh, and we'll do a releasing as well. Um, the fox is presently unrestricted, which it will be how it stays for quite some time. Um, which is fine. Uh, this is scary. So I don't know what's in here. It could be crypto sleep stuff. It doesn't necessarily have to be horrible death machines. Uh, there's a possibility that it's not horrible death machines. Uh, let's go ahead and just give everybody double beds off the bat. I don't see any reason to not do that. Uh, we do need more wood, which would be nice. And then I also need to put a stockpile down somewhere. Um, we'll put the stockpile inside of this building for right now. Um, we don't really have too many items at the moment, so I'm okay with having a smaller stockpile. We'll wall that off. Get that stuff good to go. Oh, they don't have a door. Oh, well, at least they're sleeping indoors, I guess. Uh, I accidentally trapped myself and my brother inside of this building here. Uh, and there's a wall missing over here. There we go. Fix that up. Right quick. Right quick. Alright, we're doing alright. Well... We're not doing all right. They had to sleep on the floor on the first day, which I actually consider that a failure. Um, that means we built the, the rooms a little bit too big. Learning helper. What do you got over here? It's just like tutorials. Equipping weapons. Forbid and unforbid. All right. Well, there you go. What the hell did we just shoot? It sounded like something just got shot. Uh, I don't know. Um... That was weird. 
I swear I heard something get shot. Um, maybe I'm just crazy. That's possible. I would say it's like an outside chance that I'm like super crazy, but you know, frankly, you guys heard me talk to myself for like six hours a day every day. Of course you have. That's that's the principal reason you're here, I think. I think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys just like the the sultry tone of my voice or something. Who knows? Oh my God! Put the bed together. It's a bed. Thank you, Jesus fucking Christ. It's like a, it's like trying to put together IKEA furniture. Get these beds assembled, and then we will work on our the main hall area, which I think will be a 20, 21 by 12 building. 22 by 12, apparently, because I uh, went one over. Everybody on my team sucks at construction, which isn't good. Um, we're getting there. It's taken. A long time longer than I actually like longer than I want to say the least um because it's just I want to normally I like to have all of this stuff done by the end of the second day um, so that way I could start doing stuff like feeding everybody and making sure everyone's got like stuff put together um, we have a lot of packaged survival meals but I would really like it if somebody moved these inside of our stockpile over here <coughs> Um, this room isn't refrigerated or anything, but the longer they stay outside, the less, um, like, the more damage they take. So, like, everything's got HP. So, you can kind of see, like, here, this is at 49 out of 50. Every day that it's outside, if it's a perishable thing and it's not, like, metal or something like that, uh, it depreciates by 1 HP. Uh, raw resources don't depreciate because they don't have HP. Um, but, you know... We need a meal source. I know. I know how to... I just... I'm waiting for the thing to get up. Um, and we will make a... Sculptor's Tail? No. We'll do a, a fueled thingy. And we'll do a butcher's table in the back here. We will also put a, a door in the back so it's easier for everybody to get in and out. In and out right quick. Um... Everyone's hauling, right? Yeah, right, let's do... Let's make hauling a big priority for people. So that way we're getting... More taken care of than normal. Bill it. Let's do... Fine meal. Do forever. Um, if you can. If you can't, well... We'll deal with that. And then we also need to do growing zones. I forgot. I keep, forget, I keep forgetting, like, all of, like, the little important things that I need to do. That are, like actually pretty critical to like the survival of the colony here um for instance like i need to make sure that i'm growing food oh look at that we can grow like psychoid plant we can grow drugs there are drugs i can grow hops apparently well I, hops was in the game but there's uh, psychoid and smoke leaf like i can i can grow drugs um do we have anybody that can plant that nope okay so we won't do that instead we will probably do cotton uh, potatoes, rice, cotton. The mainstay of any good colony. Clearly. All right. And then we'll also order some hunting to be done of all of our local indigenous wildlife. And then we need to make a stockpile for their corpses. Dumping stockpile. Let's just do it next to the butchering table. Look over here. And this is for... Yes, I know about the alerts. Um, this is for animalian corpses only. So let's clear all of that. Look at corpses, animal corpses only. There we go. All right, cool. There we go. Visitors. Nice. What do we got? Uh, two dudes who look like they're not from like a tribal colony. They look like they're from just like a regular ass colony. Um, so let's have. Who's got our best social stat? Seven, five, three. Yes, it's me. I'm the social one. Let's do it. Uh, best social standing. It changes the way. Um, it changes the way that like their prices and stuff. The better your social stat, the ooh, easier it is to um, barter with them. Go juice, a synthetic combat drug developed for space marines during the early days of interplanetary warfare. 
Go juice blocks pain and increases the user's melee and shooting ability. It also enhances movement speed. We're never able to remove its addictiveness. Some say some saw this as a downside. Others saw it as a benefit. All right. Well, I. That's a uh, that's pretty interesting. They, it looks like they've added a bunch of stuff, which I'm actually kind of on about because um, it's pretty good. We'll buy their medicine, and I guess we'll buy their fine meal, and then we'll exit here. Um, if we can take that inside somewhere, that'd be great. And then let's grab some structure or furniture. Let's grab a table. Um, we'll grab a short table. We'll put it in the middle of this room here. And we'll do this. 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 And this. Hopefully that, that counts as facing the table. Um, it should. I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't, but, you know. You know. Alright, what do we got? Ten package survival meals left. Two fine meals. All of which spoils in a couple days. We need warm clothes. The outdoor temperature is going to reach 40 degrees Fahrenheit. You can tailor warm clothes. Yeah, but that's only during the nighttime. Um, let's call this place again. We're going to call it Steelberg. So far, so good. We're hanging in there. I need to make a, a animal box for... Who's, uh... Who are you... Who are you bonded to? Or, I'm sorry. Like, who... You do not have a master because you do not have obedience training yet. Uh, so we'll hold off then until such a time as we are able to figure out what who that guy's master is supposed to be because everybody's got um that that fox belongs to somebody right uh detonator belongs to bravo 3 right uh jesus stop doing that because if we get rebuffed too much it's going to be a problem hey without a table is your fault man and bill butcher creature do forever if you would please. There we go. Easy peasy. I wish there was a way for me to just set, like, hunt animals as, like, a thing that they could just do autonomously. Um, because, like, there's... Doing it like this, where I have to, like, actually remember to, like, tell people, like, hey, go hunt this thing. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass, because I always forget to do it. Um... I need to remember to set everybody to fight, not flight. That's uh, pretty important. Except for our melee guy, who should really only be fighting in the event that he requires, is required to do so by being assaulted by something. Yeah, there we go. Not a bad. We'll bring it down to two for a hot minute here while I peek a peek around here. Go ahead and grab that rabbit, bring it to the stockpile. We're doing all right. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, all things considered, uh, I got beat up pretty bad. What happened to me? Oh, it's just a couple scratches. Apparently, uh, my jaw got cracked because the raccoon bit me on the face. I guess is what happened there. Um, I don't have any doctors. Correction: I uh, I am the doctor. Ancient danger. Well, that's scary. It's also like the largest deposit of compacted steel in the area, which isn't great. Um, let's actually make this simple meals, I guess, for now. Do forever, please. Um, that way we're not uh, not too, too concerned about it. I am nervous about this. That means that there are mechanoids in there. Um, <coughs> and mechanoids are... Scary, um, until you can get, like, I mark that as learned, please. Thank you. Uh, mechanoids are scary because they, uh, they do pose a great danger to us. Um, like, like, they're, it's not a, it's not a substantial danger because I'd only get activated if and when I elect to interact with it. <coughs> um, but it's, a, uh, it's still, it's still there. Um, at some point, some asshole's gonna throw a grenade at this wall or something, and we're gonna have a problem. Uh, I can just, I just know that that's the way that that's gonna happen. Um, I do want to get this compacted steel mined out as well, if we can get that going at some point. Um, I don't think I set anybody to be a dedicated miner, but, um, I'm just nervous because I, I don't want to accidentally cut into 
this thing, but this is like a huge deposit of compacted steel right here. Um, is anybody a miner? Uh, Steely fillets. All right, well, we'll leave that at a three. I think a three is more... I'll put it at a two. Hauling's important because I want our shit to get moved around. Um, but uh, who's plant growing? Let's put everybody. Everybody should be able to grow if there's nothing else to do. Um, I'm cooking up a storm, which is good. Steely, uh, Bravo 3 appears to be hauling away Steely Phil's work, which is good. Right, I'm feeling confident. We're doing really good right now. Um, the colony is actually up and running. Uh, at some point, I want to get like wood floors in. Uh, we got a new wanderer named Mia. Mia, what are you? What are you? What's your deal? You're really good at medicine. Ooh, okay. Uh, that means that your top banana is gonna be doctoring. Apparently, you're also a pretty good warden, so we'll put you there too. You should be able to grow. You should be able to repair and construct. Put those at threes. Uh, everybody should be able to mine if there's nothing left to do. Everybody should cut plants if there's nothing left to do. Um, Bravo 3 is just, like, really good at, like, making stuff, apparently. So we'll put him... That'll just be his job is to do that. Uh, which means that I don't want anybody else should... No one else should do that. And then Mia's really good at researching, so we'll put that as a 2 as well. Yeah, alright, that looks good. And then everybody should be able to flick switches. There we go. Better is most important, patient most important, firefighting most important. Um, there we go. Not a problem. We're actually doing uh we're doing all right. Um, can I and I can drag these around or something? Oh, is that like if I do auto priority, like I can like, ah, uh, okay, that's interesting. All right. I don't got any more animal corpses or anything. All that stuff got hauled inside, thank God. Um, hauling's actually, like, super important, and it's the kind of thing that I always forget about, um, while I'm doing it. Um, like, uh, you, you always forget that you need to, like, bring your shit inside, uh, otherwise it, like, decays slowly. So, there you go. Alright, then we'll do that, and we'll get furniture. I want a double bed. For our new colonist, Mia. I mean, she could share a bed with somebody right now. Or I guess she can just sleep outside in the garden. <laughs> um, not what I would have personally chosen to do. But, you know, I, I get it, I guess. Let's go ahead and hunt all of these things. Is that O? I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember all the hotkeys for the game. Um, hotkeys are real good. Ibexes are stupid, and I don't respect them. That's right. Yeah, we'll just, and we'll try to tame another fox. Maybe we'll, if we can get two foxes, um, that means we can have fox babies. Uh, minor break soon. From who? Who's got an issue? No, everyone's fine. I mean, you know, Mia slept outside, so she's a little pissed, but, you know... Not really nothing I can do about that. Yes, tame the fox, Mia. Uh, that sucks. Who's got our best handling skill, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? Because that person should be... Where's handling? Handling, where are you? Animals. Three, three, five, seven. Well, it's actually Mia. <laughs> um, that's good, I guess. Um, I think priority one, after we finish building all of the things that we need to build, um, will definitely be, um, getting, getting our house in order, basically. After we get, like, the house in order, we get all the stuff built up, um, we'll probably then focus on a raid. Well, alright, that's a, it's just Newton. Newton, what do you got? He's got a club. He's got shit armor. He's comfortable in this temperature range. He's got some cloth. A cloth shirt on. Right, where? Hold on. Mia, did you have a... You did have a weapon. Look at that. Raft. Why don't you guys come here for a minute? Just go ahead and shoot this guy to death, please. 
There you go. All right, undraft. Um, I mean, he's really good at construction. We actually might want to capture him. So let's go ahead and designate this as for prisoners. And then why don't we go ahead and capture Newton? Um, the reason he's getting his own room right now is because, like, his stats are nuts. Like, uh, if we can take a look at Newton real quick here. I want to look at I want to look at the guy you're carrying. Yeah, fuck it, I'll look at him in a second. Um, his stats are crazy. Look at the, look at this. He's like super good at construction. He's great at everything else. Um, it doesn't matter that he's not good at those things. He's really good at construction, which um, I did a little bit of experimenting like on my own time to figure out like how like what's actually the difference between um, like the levels that people are good at stuff in RimWorld, right? And, um, but also construction is also real important, guys. Come on, let's get this together here. Um, Mia just fell asleep inside the prisoner room because there's nowhere else for her to go. Um, structure. Let's build a, let's build like an actual prison somewhere. Is there like a, a structure nearby that I can use? Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Let's go with that. Here, here, and then we'll build the door out of steel. Um, Put a bed in here. Just a regular bed. We'll put two in here. And a table. For them to eat at. There you go. That way. That way they'll uh they'll have somewhere to be. There you go. It's actually kind of like a nice this is like a dorm room. <laughs> it's like a college dorm room. It's two beds and a bunch of other horse shit. Go ahead and just Get this finished up construction-wise. Then we'll move Newton to his new prison. Minor break risk for Mia. So what, it doesn't tell me, like, what their issue is? No. All right, her threshold's just really high. Like, she needs to be okay all the time. To be okay. I'll uh, we'll probably get a, need to get a tailoring bench up then. Because um, apparently Mia's naked. Am I naked? Or is Bravo 3 naked, rather? Slept outside, rebuffed by Steely Phil. He's really not taken kindly to that, actually. I'll make Bravo 3. He's animal level 6 and has 5. So he can't be bonded to his own freaking animal because he's too stupid to do it. That's dumb. I don't like that. That should be like, I should be able to make him his master regardless. Cargo pods, what do we got? Uh, gold! Nice. nice. Spoilage and freezers! Yes, I know. Um, I just, I, I can't deal with it right now because I don't have any power. We've got a bunch of other shit that needs to get taken care of first, like getting our actual prison set up. Sandstone walls will be good. Um, need joy source. Joy source, huh? Is there any, like, good joy sources? No? We'll just build that there. And we'll build a chess table in here or something with two stools to sit at. Where did I put that? There it is. There, there you go. There. Two, two chess tables. Congratulations. Let's take care of Alright. Um, we'll designate these two beds for prisoners. And we'll designate this as not for prisoners anymore. One of you guys could. I was like, if one of you guys could take him to the new ultra luxury prisoner area over here. <laughs> ultra luxury prison. Um, that would be great. There you go. Now everybody slept inside. It's not cold, so don't don't bitch at me about it being cold. I will fight you. Um, I think we're sitting. Uh, we're sitting kind of pretty, actually. Um, eventually we'll we'll do a little bit more stockpile management. Um. You know, it'll be more than just, uh, having the one stockpile for everything. Ugh, I really want him, though. We'll do the 99%. It might take a million years, and that guy's gonna be kind of a drain on our resources for that million years, but, um, I do feel like it's worth the time and energy in order to get him to be on our side, because he looks, he lo he's really good. Um, and there you go. All right. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. Uh, we're hitting pretty close to 30 minutes. So uh, with that, thank you all so much for watching. 
And if you like what you saw, let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. If you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow, helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!